All these goddamn bats keep attacking our car. <laughs> it's making it hard to drive. <laughs> Uh, if we could just get the hammer of dawn and get them <laughs> off of us, it'd be so much easier. Light. We could just light this whole place up <laughs> with the hammer of dawn. No, no, that wouldn't be fun, Marcus. A big explosion. Let's just use an overpowered flashlight on top of our car. <laughs> yeah, probably for the best. Turning on our big flashlights. <laughs> I forgot about that. Now I it's remember. So the map. Yeah. Quickly get to that street light. Go, go. <laughs> Welcome back to Cream Crew. Um, nothing has been said yet. There wasn't seven minutes of previous conversation that just got fucking sent to the shadow realm. This is a brand new start for some brand new boys. Dang. Why do you think people like the why do you think people like the MIDI versions of songs? You ever listen to you know I was like I was wanting to play um the first Doom lately. You know people are super stoked about that soundtrack even though it's just like a MIDI kind of version. I think of literal Slayer songs. But fucking, do, mm-hmm. do you think people just like listening to that because it's the nostalgic fast factor of those games? I, th- th- and that yeah. leads me into a second part question of why do people have to be so autistically, like, in like why do they have to enjoy video game music so much? Why can't they just fucking listen to some heavy metal, get some pussy, and fucking let the good times roll? You know what I'm talking about? You ever go to the guy's, for like, a friend's house and he has, like, a soundtrack of a game on? I uh-huh. do... I do side eye it. We've actually like, yeah. yeah I well, mean, I know a bunch of artists hear, that do that too. I can't understand it. To when me, when someone tells me they're like, music. yeah, when I'm like, what, what kind of music do you like? And they're like, oh, I just listen, to, you know, just like video game music. I'm definitely like, what, why? What is going I just, on? I, I just listen to the Breath of the Wild soundtrack. But that's what I mean. See, and here's what, here's what, here's it makes sense. It makes sense if you're, um. I guess like an art, like an, a digital artist type where I'm like, Oh, I mean, I, okay. I could see that. Cause at the same time, people that draw like furry shit a lot of the time, I'd never expect them. I'm actually listening to any actual human music. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, it's, it's always, the, it's always those same guys though. Furries. It, well, that's what I'm saying. Like that's what I'm saying. Bullshit. It's these people it's that like are the like the Magfest yeah. enjoyer. <laughs> yeah. You ever go to Magfest? Everyone that goes to Magfest is just like, yeah, I mean, Metallica's like dad rock, whichever that's in a sad <laughs> bed. But I prefer the Final <laughs> Fantasy Nine soundtrack. If you unironically said you enjoy the Final Fantasy Nine soundtrack, <laughs> keep that to your fucking self. Because guess what? Your stupid little fucking small friend group of people are like, this is a point. And I'll say this with pride. It, it, you need to have shame introduced back into your life. I wouldn't give I a died. shit if you listen to anything else on this earth besides that. And that doesn't say that like this isn't music, but it's just like there's a difference between always listening to orchestral scores and listening to a song. I don't like yeah, those people either. Like, how do you get around with your like mates and fucking you're like, oh, you, you know, you're in the yeah, car. You're, trying, you're trying to get shitty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're trying to get <laughs> shitty tonight. And they're just like, yeah, exactly. In, in, in England or whatever. It's like, oh, right, mate, we're going to hit some fucking pubs. We're doing it. We're doing a round. We're, we're, we're pub crawling and all. Yeah. And then someone puts on fucking like Dory Dory, like Animal Run <laughs> or some shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I do not. How the. That is just, that is, that's what it is. It's like the inability to function as a regular human in life because of this choice. I don't want anybody also, because I'm already, I'm already seeing the fucking comments now. Well, I just like it because it's pretty or because it relaxes me. Find the new thing to relax you and to be pretty, dude. You know what's also pretty? Fucking Shania Twain. You know what's also pretty? Shakira. There you go. Shakira. There you go. Boom. (laughs) And yeah, especially, d- don't don't try to come at me. You know how many times I'm just like, and I hate this conversation, right? And I'm picking I on don't. these people. I'm picking on these people I because like 
Well, I'm glad. Well, I I guess I was saying I hate the conversation of, of people who say and these these fucking mouth breathing weirdos like to come up and they like to start music conversations to really show you how mm-hmm. different they are. So I'll be like, they'll be like, what do you like? And I, you know, if you're like a metal head, you're just on uh, metal. What's a bad you like? It's like the worst fucking question because you're like, Oh, I, you know, dying fetus. And you, and then you feel like a fucking idiot. Cause you're like, yeah, I get it. It sounds stupid. <laughs> and then every time, what does every one of these fucking people say? Oh, really? Yeah, I like. I think I like that. I like the Doom soundtrack a lot. Oh, and it's just, God. and it's just a fucking eight, like a ten string gent guitar, doing the fucking most obnoxious riffs and stuff. I, I'll say it. I don't. I don't care for the Doom Eternal soundtrack. I'll say it. Uh, it's it's cool, but yeah, I definitely I've I've lived that experience horrifically, which is mostly the first part of the experience where someone's like, "Oh, okay, what music?" and I'm like, "Oh God," because I want to just say what I like, but I know that it sounds fucking retarded. I know that's why I, it's always always worth. Uh, I always it's it's kind of like an interesting back and forth game at first. Well, what music do you like? To where you can just be like, uh-huh. "Yeah, I like that music." Just so the end, the conversation can end there. Yeah, it's like a, it's like when you're fucking trying to negotiate money with an employer. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's like no, no one can go first. Exactly. So, like, what's the budget? Oh, I don't know. What's your expectations? It's just like, uh, God, it's round and round. What's the workload? <laughs> yeah, I started enjoying um, <clears throat> like guitar only music that's sort of metal ish but i didn't realize oh, counts you're, you, you're, you're, you're walking a fine line there my friend yeah, yeah, i know well <laughs> yeah yeah so i got i got my i got that. my uh i got my spotify rewind or whatever and it's like you listen to a lot of video game music <laughs> oh no, no no you're the top one percent of ratchet and clank original soundtrack <laughs> you're listeners gay. What if I unwrap? You're kind of gay. Exactly. You, you must not talk gay. to people. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so you don't get pussy, huh? Spotify unwrapped. Yeah. Spotify unwrapped. So you're autistic and socially awkward with people. <laughs> but Spotify Wrapped also knows that you're probably a pretty good artist. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Spotify unwrapped. That is true. <laughs> Thank you, Spotify unwrapped. You were my only true friend. <laughs> There's <right>. no. <laughs> No 8-bit sounds, though, so I th- I'm the cut above. Spotify rap wants you to know that you are gay. <laughs> <laughs> that's not true, Spotify and rap, I swear. No. <laughs> but Spotify rap, it, it's, it's mostly metal guitars. It isn't really anything. It doesn't matter how you rap it. You are exceedingly <laughs> autistic and gay. How you rap it, huh? Nice. <laughs> it doesn't matter yeah. how you wrap it, but how you unwrap it. <laughs> say what I mean, mean what I say. <laughs> <laughs> the Spotify unwrap tells it how it is. Don't be a libtard. Do not shoot the messenger. I deliver analytics. <laughs> you are who you are based on your own decisions. <laughs> I like that. Oh cool. <laughs> fuck, that's good. That's really good. Yeah. What is the yeah. what, what, wait? What is the metal? What's the atmospheric stuff, Don? Because you know what people are going to be like. Well, Action, sweet. I wish he would have said what he was listening to. Because our fucking <laughs> listeners are all mouth breathing fucking idiots. <laughs> <ideas. laughs> I love them. Don't you just match their name? Uh, fuck them. Fuck well, you. Well, the. Uh, For some reason, Spotify recommended it from my regular metal playlist, which maybe speaks volumes about my metal playlist. All um, Green Crow podcast listeners are in the 2% of wearing adult diapers. (laughs) Is that true? I I like how my preface is going on that you're already blaming Spotify for this. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, this is actually just my machine. How's it going, guys? I'm actually recording in my bed right now. 
<laughs> I can't what is seem it, to Don? get up. Spill, spill your guts. <laughs> it's um, it's the uh, "Follow in Flight" song, which oh, actually is God. from Halo Two anniversary. Oh, oh, you know it? No, follow you know it? it. No, I'm just listening to the name "Follow in Flight," and I looked it up immediately, <laughs> yeah. and it's Master uh -oh. Chief with two <laughs> handguns. <laughs> Halo, on the cover. Halo Two anniversary, bro. <laughs> two point two million like, sub okay, sub streams. Okay, okay. How many of those are you? Okay, okay. So literally a video game song. Fine. But that's the only one, and I don't listen to it that often. So how is my? But what I do listen to is I put on the. Uh, I like that song, so I put on the little radio that it creates around a song, mm. and basically what that gives you is just similar like no lyrics guitar tracks. I you know? don't care who you love. I you will the thing support is that you no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> I, li I, I listen to a little bit. Of, to me. It's, Man, it's, want, it sounds good, but voice. it's just because it's just because it says about the artist and it says Halo and then it's just Master Chief holding to I just can't get into it. I know that's judgy and stuff and people are going to be like, okay, well, better than the fucking stuff you listen okay, to. Okay. But guess what? Okay, well, this 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 is what happens, though. You're listening to your metal playlist on shuffle with suggestions, and then this comes on, and, and then before you, find you know yourself, it, you've got your dick in another well, man's no, ass. Exactly. <laughs> and you're enjoying it. What? And you're like, How well, did this I, happen? And, well, da, 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 and then da, da, finally, da, 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 da. finally, finally, no, there's no, there's no recognizable Halo licks in it. You Finally, you take the dick out of your mouth, and you look at Spotify, and you see Master Chief, and you just have to accept that you're gay. <laughs> Can I you interest know you in some You didn't Spanish know he was there the whole music. time. Would you like a helping of Spanish flamenco? <laughs> Since you no. are listening to Halo 2, <laughs> can we interest you in Final Fantasy 9? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I really like this. Oh, you will. <laughs> oh, you will. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of a bop. Honestly, this is what's kind of like about it is that it does. I mean, it's not really Halo. Here's the here's thing, Don. Fucking lean into it or not. Get out of there. Because this just sounds like some like weird, like proggy kind of like tool or like a Devin Townsend project kind of riff kind of thing. Yeah, I like it. Cool. It's really cool. Okay. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it's totally awesome. It's, it's nice working music. To nice. be fair. Your other most dream song was Sound of Silence by Disturbed. <laughs> Someone unironically was telling me how that's their favorite song the other day, and I was like, ah, you're fucking with I've been, me. I've like, been no, hearing dude, it for, just, I feel like I've been hearing it. It like, touches a lot of people. I'm like, nah, you're fucking I feel like nah. I've, I've, I've been hearing that, that for years. That, Mr. Storms? <laughs> The first time you told me you got I, chills to I, that song, yeah, I about, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I about I, I died. Said, I said goosebumps, dude. The Halo Dark is my old friend. I'll come to talk with you again. It's early, early, sleeping. You know, they don't, they don't just hand out Grammys, gentlemen. It's true. Did that get a Grammy? Yeah. Oh, it I absolutely it did. did. Yeah, I definitely did. <laughs> this has touched the lives of millions of people everywhere. This is going to be said big it was, on Spotify Who said it was your rap. favorite song? Disturbs take on sound of on Simon and Garfunkel sound sounds. That song has 735 million <laughs> streams. <on. laughs> You know, you know how many people in the Midwest yes, and the South were like, they, "This is fucking giving me chills right now." Holy <laughs> shit, Greg! Did you hear that cover of "Sound of Silence" by Disturbed? You talking about the people that do ten thousand fist and down with the sickness? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they took that gay song from the seventies and made it awesome. You two are not queer in the slightest. <laughs> Happy Spotify unwrapped. <laughs> God, it's on Dang. a it's on an album called Immortalized, and it's like the gayest looking album. <laughs> it's like the disturbed face in a weird fallen chapel and like dystopian rocks or whatever. <laughs> I'm, always, I'm, always, I'm always so curious how bands think of their stupid fucking album covers. 
So right? pretty much, it's, it's like the like face case, is like but... it's a more like we're immortalized. Twenty fifteen disturbed is immortalized. So we're trying to make sure that we're like cemented in, kind of like a fallen palace and a fucking <laughs> field of rocks and lava. <laughs> That is well, the problem sick. is, is the world keeps fucking rewarding and reinforcing it. So they're just like, well, I mean, the last album cover hit really good. Let's do it again. <laughs> yeah, you might be right. It might actually be like uh, there is some self-aware recognition that it's gay, but it's what their fans like. People want it. You know? Yeah, they're trying to oh, be... No, no. Disturbed is super artistic, but the label's just like, you have to realize your fan base is retarded and, and <laughs> is retarded and gay. You need to dumb it down. <laughs> like, well, I guess we could. I really don't want to record Sound of Silence, guys. It sounds really gay. <laughs> it's Simon you and Garfunkel, but it's done to. by the disturbed guys. It's perfect. That, that fucking studio exec is the parrot from Aladdin. Hello, Dr. Smile. Oh, that's friend. just great. Yeah. You know what? I, I think I remember, I remember when that when that song was coming out though, and I remember seeing because it was so popular that I remember seeing uh, like articles like Simon and Garfunkel are blown away by this disturbed cover. Simon and Garfunkel killed themselves. Oh, yeah. It was so Hell, good. Yeah. Hello, Dark nice. You, you know what? You know it was sick too that they used it in the uh, Years of War trailer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could that, see that. that. Got my that slow mo, got my slow mo of like bullets flying by, by whatever. Nice and hard. Uh huh. Yeah. No, no sound effects. It was really tasteful. It's nice. What what gears? Just, what did they uh, use it for? Just David. What's his face? Looks like the. Yeah. Looks like Gears of War four. Is what I'm saying. Of course. Is that the? Which is that, is like they were the like game. that is unequivocally and unironically the greatest video game of all time. And I think it would pair perfectly <laughs> with the un unironically and unequivocally best song of all time. Gears of War 4. <laughs> so, yeah, this, this was, unironically, this was Don's, <laughs> this was Don's wallpaper for a series of time. <laughs> I put it in general chat. <laughs> Let's see. No, I think the, the my new wallpaper Switch of the characters could be really good for the series. <laughs> I think these characters God. are going to be a, a breath of fresh air. This could be really <laughs> fresh. A nice, diverse, bright, vibrant cast. Jesus Christ. Hey, guys, we want to take a quick break to thank today's sponsor, Factor. Factor's delicious, ready-to-eat meals make eating better every day easy. Wherever tomorrow takes you, be ready with pre-prepared, chef-crafted, and dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. I use Factor all the time because I'm a fat fucking waste of life, and it helps me meal prep and count my calories because I'm so fat, fat, fatty McFat, fat, fatterson. And they're so delicious, too! You'll have over 35 different options a week to choose from, including keto, calorie smart, vegan, plus veggie, and more. And there's even more to enjoy with over 55 nutrition-packed add-ons to help make your weekly meal planning even more delicious. What are you waiting for? Get started today and have a feel-good week of meals ready to go. They have two-minute meals, so fuel up fast with Factor's restaurant-quality meals that are ready to heat and eat wherever you are. They have snacks, smoothies, and more. You can discover a wide variety of easy options for the entire day, like breakfast, midday bites, and more. They have a sign-up and save feature, which, you know, we've done the math. Factor is less expensive than takeout, and every meal is dietitian approved to be nutritious and delicious. And with Factor, it's the perfect solution if you're looking for fast, upscale options done easily. They're flexible for your schedule, and get as much or as little as you need by choosing six to 18 meals per week. That's a fuck ton. Holy shit. Six to 18 meals? God damn. Plus, you can pause or reschedule your deliveries anytime. No prep, no mess meals. Factor meals are 100% ready to eat, so there's no prepping, no cooking, or cleaning up. So head to factormeals.com slash cream50 and use code cream50 to get 50% off. That's code cream50 at factormeals.com slash cream50 to get 50% off your fucking order. You think you think a kid made this? He got on defont.com and found the gears <laughs> yeah, font and then yeah. wrote the yeah, sound. Not, not, now that you say that out loud, <laughs> yes, that sounds like the the actual answer to that. Because what's what's crazy about this kind of graphics and stuff is like you can never tell if the triple A studio made this graphic or <laughs> on autistic eight year old from Minnesota. Oh, not this I'm just, is I'm just loaded. I'm just loaded Photoshop. I'm in ninth grade. 
<laughs> you I'm like learning I don't know, God. It hurts to even say because it's also cringe and gay, but like the amount that you have no idea how thankful I am that the stuff that I did, made, and contributed to the world was not permanently inscribed into the fucking internet for all eternity. Mm-hmm. In what in what capacity? What do you mean? Dude, I like 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 that you didn't come forward as a Chris Chan like figure. No, just that I or, never like there wasn't the infrastructure to really like post the full extent of my cringe. Oh, I see. Yeah, you, you couldn't put yourself out mm. there like you might have today. Oh, dude, I I remember being like fucking twelve years old or something, and camera phones were out, and me and my friend thought it'd be really <laughs> funny. Oh my god, so funny to like <laughs> take take our t-shirts off this is now hear me out actually this doesn't get better this uh, is, this, this is and getting fucking into record very... ourselves singing gay bar by electric six in a gay mirror bar, gay bar and <laughs> in a mirror in a mirror like a couple girls on a night out who don't know and each other and just got we... drunk and met in the girls bathroom and then we got each other hard and, and then, then we stroked each other to completion and luckily there wasn't facebook Luckily, thank God there wasn't Facebook. Otherwise, what everyone you, would have been what did so you do jealous with, of us. Not what did you do with the romance. video? Though? You'd show it to your buddies so everybody can laugh? No, no, it it was, uh, I think my old, I think my sister was like, you know, you should probably delete that. I looked up, I looked up uh, the ranking of Gears of War games from uh, ScreenRant.com and I want to see if you guys agree with their list. <laughs> Because you guys are avid Gears of War fans, correct? Yeah. That was my fucking... That was it. That was everything to me in that game. Okay. <laughs> I'm a casual. I'm I not going it, to... I'm, I'm not going to include because there's Gears Pop. I don't know what that is. It just looks like a Funko Pop version of it. I'm not going to include that and in. doesn't count. Coming in dead last is Gears of War Judgment. Can you agree with that? Yeah. Judgment's kind of gay. Is okay. that... You... You think that's worse than four and five, though? Just clarifying. No. Well, here's... And by well, my, by what metric? Are we talking multiplayer or campaign? Well, Judgment didn't even have multiplayer, so you fucking casual. Oh. So I guess I guess we are talking uh, campaign. If we're talking campaigns, <laughs> I would take Judgment any day. But if we're just talking about, like, mm -hmm. game mechanics and everything, and including multiplayer, like, five's multiplayer is actually fucking legit, you know? Mm hmm But uh, the campaigns are... Just fucking garbage. Okay. Mm -hmm. Coming in at number six, Gears of War 4. Yeah, okay, so here's my big problem with Gears of War 4. I don't want to be propagandized to. And within the first three minutes, they make you... Oh, my God. They make you walk through like a hospital. You can't run. <laughs> you, you must can't, walk, You can't roadie run. run past it all <laughs> like you want to. You have to walk through a hospital covered in posters... <laughs> That's like, you know, mothers uh, of the coalition, do your part, like have more kids. Because, you know, there's an existential threat against humankind literally burrowing up from underground and killing people. And the, <laughs> the main female character is like, this is such fucking bullshit. I should be out there taking <laughs> bullets to my womb like God intended. You're just like, fuck, <laughs> do, I, do I really need to sit and it's Gears of War. That's hard. Like, I'm not trying to have some like deep socio-political commentary. I want fucking big muscles and like melodrama. Not dude, fucking talking to. Dude, you sound like the, the original creator of God of War who made a big like he made a big rant. He's like, I don't give a fuck what Kratos talks about. I just want to see him throw a fucking sword around. Absolutely. Okay. Number five. The first Gears of War. Number five. Um as as what? Like the worst. It's a, it's, a, it's just like number six is Gears of War four, number five is Gears of War. That's what they have on this list. Wow. Oh. Okay. Number four, Gears Tactics. Come on. Uh, you're really fucking nerd raging me right now. I feel I feel a Spotify unwrapped coming on. Right, I just want this to be. I just want this to be that. <laughs> I am just the messenger. I am not <laughs> the person who wrote this article. Uh, number three is Gears of War three. What is going to be if the Gears if Gears two is number one? I'm going to fucking shrilly scream like an. Number two, Gears five, and number one, Gears two. Yep. 
Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm so gay. That is We're the gayest response. Uh, <laughs> that is the worst response you've ever given on this podcast. We I can tell you are that. going to have words with the author of this list. <laughs> oh, I have some thoughts. <laughs> quiet, dude. I'm gonna. This is gonna be a series now on our second channel that hasn't been posted over six months. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that would actually be great autistic content for you guys. Is like breaking down the lore of things and being like, "This is why it doesn't work. This is why it's stupid." <laughs> <laughs> Look at the lip touch. Add it again. Make me walk for a Did hospital. you like? Did you like the design of the main guy in Gears? Marcus Phoenix. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, he's a product of his time and a damn fine one at that. <laughs> I always like this voice. I just that was, right. that was I one hated of those this ones fucking... I didn't like at the time. Dom. I hate Dom, We gotta get to the it. centaur. <laughs> Dom. I gotta get fucking... to the centaur. Dom. I always hated his like do rag. For no reason. Do you like my do rag? It helps keep my hair from going crazy. <laughs> that's what I mean. It's like no one else in this apocalyptic Cole warfare. Cole gets it, a... right? You get it, Cole. You what gotta you, keep your straight mean? hairs in line, brother. What, what you mean? You well, you know, the hair gets all. Thank God I got my chains all attached to my gun. Cut through all the <laughs> crazy stuff. Why, hey, we gotta Marcus drop. Man, we gotta drop we this missile talking down. Talking about your durag and find my wife, Holmes. We gotta. We gotta drop this missile on these bastards. I get. That, I get that, Marcus. <laughs> but what about my wife, man? What about her? We gotta drop this missile down on these bastards. <laughs> <Dirge. laughs> wow, guys. Wow, that's bad. In case you didn't know. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Tom, I'm <laughs> noticing that three probably isn't up there for you because I'm noticing that there's a woman on the cover. Now, was that a downfall for you in the series? I did. It was the start of the creep, the, the creep of poison into the franchise. Anya's suited up in armor. So is Sam when they should both be barefoot and pregnant in the kitchen. <laughs> like, like, like we all know Bare, barefoot would be pregnant. necessary in a wartime situation. I like how I, I like how Gears Five was. I, just, I was I was bought in though. I was I was. Uh, Gears you, Three was incredible. You, it was a milestone. Here's 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 Marcus's tiny anime chick to destroy with his cocaine <laughs> cock. <laughs> I'm gonna like, drop so, this missile so down. <laughs> She's like, no, nah, really, we should probably fight, right? No, where's my? I gotta deliver this missile. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm looking at Gears 5 and the woman they have for that looks like the most generic fucking thing but also like it's like I'm old now <laughs> I, got, I could still tear that young <laughs> that young thing up though Dom we got we got big pieces of armor on I never take it off <laughs> I never take off this armor ever for you anyone. think it would be weird if I hit on my son's girlfriend, Dom? <laughs> you think it'd be, would it be weird if I went and fucked my son's girlfriend? Not like he could do nothing about it. <laughs> I'll kick his ass. <laughs> I'll kick his fucking ass. I always thought that uh, on the Gears of War armor, that the, uh, I thought it was speakers, like Bluetooth speakers on their chest. The circles. <laughs> Me too. I always fucking hated that. I was always, I was always like, are they like? You guys want to play the sound of silence? <laughs> yeah. Alternatively, so all I got, sickness, all I got on this USB <laughs> drive is sound of sickness or the Halo Two soundtrack. <laughs> 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 Which one do you want to be put on? Sick. They put on the oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. It, all the fucking yeah, like the, bug the people from underground in. start crawling out from underground. I've got uh, Axle F and Crazy Frog if you would prefer. <laughs> crazy. So I downloaded it for ten dollars. The only thing I play on Half this thing is Cotton uh, Cotton Eye Bill or, or Cotton Eye Joe. Cotton Eye <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Fun fact you might not know about that is that was actually a song by Swedish people. I was song not even by people from this country, but what the hell is this country and the whole world's gone to shit? But, but Marcus, I have to find my wife. <laughs> You're a good Two man. The people listening to this weren't even alive when this when all of this is happening. <laughs> this is fucking Force Ghost, bro. Stop being a hater. It's this is what? It's his Force Ghost. 
<laughs> is this Force, Force Ghost? Ghost? Oh, so you don't watch Star Force Wars, Ghost. huh? That reference uh, is a bit of a reach for you, is it, huh? <laughs> yeah. It's oh, not I only the most popular franchise in film history. Oh, I sure would <laughs> like to see your Spotify unwrapped. So, Carlos, you tell me that you never saw fucking Star Wars? <laughs> Bullshit! <Carlos. laughs> My name is not Carlos uh, Marcus. It's Dom. Oh, I, I, legit, I, I legitimately thought that uh, M- Marcus was called Dom. I thought that you said that his name was Carlos. Maybe it's just because you were doing that racist accent of him. <laughs> he, he doesn't even sound a bit Hispanic. <laughs> You're my like, best Hello, fucking I'm friend. Santiago. How are you? <laughs> You're my best fucking Marcus friend. Man. What's happening, Holmes? We gotta drop this missile down. <laughs> <laughs> You're my best we friend. Gotta get the hammer of dawn online. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't we done that like twelve, t- <laughs> twelve times? But there's a what but, the fuck are the giant things called? The, there's a brumuk <laughs> heading right towards <laughs> us. God. Okay. Well, I should Better be... get the hammer of dawn <laughs> on love. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like by the third or fourth game, it's Woo! like, should it not be a significant thing to happen? You've done it so many times. We gotta get the hammer. God damn it. We gotta get the hammer <laughs> of dawn activated. We have to, we have to signal the recon beacon so the oh, hammer of dawn can get online. We'll pass later. Later. <laughs> Later. Fry, you oh, sort of and they always have, whenever it shoots, they always have to like say some line. I always fucking hated that. In it. Woo! Get some! <laughs> oh, that was really relatable, Cole. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fry, you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, woo! Get some! <laughs> you used to play football! <laughs> Shit! That's a part of your character! Don't <laughs> remind me. Looking back on it, honestly, the first fucking, the first fucking Gears game. I remember when I was a kid, I was like, this is awesome. And then I tried, uh, I tried playing it again, like a couple years later. And there were so many levels. I fucking hated the end boss. He's like wrapped around like, he's like, God, it's really hard to shoot him when there's a bunch of bats flying around him. (laughs) (laughs) We're on this train and there's all these bats. Where do we get the hammer of dawn online? We can't Take out all them bats or the blood, partner. <laughs> we can't. Then, You're on a moving object, Tom or Marcus. You can't this, do it. This t- there's too much cloud cover, Marcus. The diameter or darn does not work that way. <laughs> the <hammer> sure. <laughs> Stupid. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> then ben, I just like I'm out like, of like, chain uh, grenades. Yeah. <laughs> uh yeah. That's not gonna work. Uh yeah. That's <laughs> you, sure. I hope we could do. Uh, I hope we could do four or five more vehicle levels, cause they're so fun in this game. You stand there. I'm gonna stand here. Can't go. Perfect. All of these bats keep attacking the car. All these goddamn bats keep attacking our car. It's making it hard to drive. <laughs> if we could just get the hammer of dawn and get them off of us, it'd be so much easier. Light. We could just light this whole place up <laughs> with the hammer of dawn. No, no, that wouldn't be fun, Marcus. A big explosion. Let's just use an overpowered flashlight on top of our car. <laughs> yeah, probably for the best. Turning on our big flashlights. <laughs> I forgot about that. Now I remember. It's so and that, yeah. Quickly get to that street light. Go, go. <laughs> Touchdown, Coltrane, baby. Now's not the time, Cole. Yeah, true, true. true. Back. We got to run to this other spot without getting dissected by bats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always, you know what I fucking hate about the Gears game too? There was no way to run without looking like a fucking idiot. 
Thank God the camera angle's dropping and I look like I'm sneaking across everywhere I go. Everyone get real low right now. There's no one firing at us, but we need to be really, really low. <laughs> you do you do get the sense that they have like just the proportions and the angle and the run. They're like little baby booties, you know? It really makes those. Well, it's the their feet are too big and it makes their cool. head look way yeah, too yeah, small. Yeah, yeah. It's very like shuffly. I will say, no matter. For five games. No matter what, what criticism you have, you, you got to admit that every time you kill somebody with a chainsaw, it's always satisfying. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, we're hating hard right now, but I love Gears. Gears was my fucking franchise. It's my baby. That's the best part of multiplayer. It's so frustrating. Well, I thought that that's what the thing. Everybody said the multiplayer sucked because the fucking, uh, like the servers were shit or something. Right? I mean, which which, which game? Yeah, gears, or I don't know, point. any of the gears. I don't know. Well, get, man, Gears 1 was like a glitch infested mess. Like people do this shit called crab walking where you're like, <laughs> you're doing the roadie run, but like in every direction. And you just look like this fucking retarded crab, like jittering around. And you can't fucking hit them because they're all over the place. Mm. I think the concept is kind of interesting of having a, uh, <laughs> this looks so, what's funny, like, here, I'm going to post this image in there. Uh, this is the first time I've seen him without his suit of armor on. It's just funny to think that in a dystopian world where it's like, there's like how everybody wouldn't just be absolutely malnourished or whatever. <laughs> and then there's like Marcus who's like, I'm five foot four and weigh 300 pounds of raw muscle. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Yeah. They're not even. Uh, they got me on a pretty tight even... diet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting pretty lean. Dad, Whole train's been shooting up my ass in the back. Really, Dad? You look great. Thank you, son. I'm 63 years old. <laughs> How do you keep on your weight? Well, you have to keep your weight on to survive. What if there's? What if? What if there? What if? What if there? <laughs> What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Dad, what's what's going on? I'm having a heart attack. Oh, 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 oh God. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> don't forget to visit your mother's grave. I like the, <laughs> I like the, uh, I like the aspect of things coming from like underground or whatever. Like your the threat has been beneath you the whole time. But I I don't I, I think like I, I don't know. I think aesthetically, I just never dug that. You know what I mean? What do you mean? You don't yeah, like the neon around. lights on our chest? <laughs> no, no, that's fine. I, I, the, the, oh, well, yeah, it's fine. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> the Bluetooth speakers are sweet, too, but I just didn't know about the... Uh, <laughs> going down, it's like, nice. So now we're in the rock area of the levels. Okay, so you don't like hate breed. It's what you're telling me. <laughs> no, I, I, I love hate breed. No! Okay, we well, are. I love to think, yeah, Marcus is listening to fucking... Uh, uh, what the fuck is it? Uh, what what, what the fuck is the song? Oh, all right, we'll be. Uh, what, how, what the fuck is that? Now is the time for me to rise to my feet. What the fuck is the name of that song? Boots by Jessica Simpson. <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh cheat. It's, it's cheating by Carrie Underwood. What the fuck is the fucking uh? Oh my! I will. I will I'm be just heard. remembering fucking cult. There's a cutscene where heard. Coltrane like uses his football skills to like plant grenades on locusts, and he like dukes them awesome. out. Way to go! So sick, so sick. <laughs> go Cole! Yes! First and ten. Shit! <laughs> 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 the only thing that could help me right now is my football skills. Yes, Cole. <laughs> no timeouts, Cole. No. Man, Marcus, we kind of got to find my wife. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this <is just> constant. <laughs> All right. That sounds good. Let's do that. I am a good friend and I support you. I do think, <laughs> I do think, uh, what's funny is that everybody in the game is jacked, which is what I like, but I even like how the enemies are just like yoked the fuck out. What are they called again? Are well, they called locusts? Even Locusts, yeah, don't pretend like that. Though. Yeah, locusts. It's stupid because they're not even uh, super soldiers. That's just what human men look like <laughs> in that's gears. That's what I mean. Is the, and then uh, I guess, or or even like the locust, whatever. It's just like 
all this, all the beef you guys have been throwing away, we've been eating underground. <laughs> 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 all, the <food. laughs> all the food going down the garbage disposal has been mainlined right yeah, to the locust been, underground. Been going to our mother's bellies to make big boys. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks so ridiculous, dude. Yeah, so they're like sandpaper skinned people that are fucking jacked also. <laughs> and they got their own guns that they've been making underground. And their own version of basically the fucking armor, too. It's sick. Yeah, that's true. And they've well, got red lights on their armor, and it's, it's kind of crazy because that way it you looks know exactly bad. the same as, as the armor we wear. I was always let's, like, let's could, couldn't their skin though, right? just be Aren't like they fucking... they like lab experiment people? I forget. I oh, forget I don't know. Yeah, I think I that's, that's the, the fucking bullshit, man. Like, that's what I'm talking about. It's the poison creeping in. First Gears was like, they're monsters, we gotta kill them. Third Gears, oh, we're the I monsters! Okay. Yeah. <laughs> More <laughs> of our women have died to our hands than theirs. And our big Coke can cocks. <laughs> Split them in half. Maybe we're the problem. <laughs> Maybe we're the problem. <laughs> we'll just split. I split on you in half like I a look turkey at every, wishbone. I look at every fucking woman like a piece of wood getting ready to be split by my axe. <laughs> <laughs> I put the tip of my cock in her pussy and I, I hit my back real hard till the cock goes in. <laughs> and that sex. <laughs> It feels good, but I kill them. It's beautiful. This it's really the is. Circle of life. I am truly a gear in this war. <laughs> <laughs> I am but a cog in the war machine. On ya. <laughs> <laughs> I also like how Marcus. Wait, so did Marcus have a kid at the very beginning? He was just a baby. Stop, Dred. Um, uh, I, no, I don't I know. think it's between games. No, That's fine. Yeah, you climbed was... out of your All right, well, bicep first. I was so proud, but I'm she died. I have some downtime to have sex with this woman I love, and I'm going to have a son, and I'm going to be in his life. life. Leave, so I may impregnate her. You would kind of think that he would be the kind of guy in this game, right? That it would be like, it's like one of the, like, it's a girl that's in like, it's some other like military chick, right? She's just like, well, this is the last day we have left and why wouldn't we do it, right? And then they fuck and he doesn't yeah. really know her, but he's like, wait, I have a kid. And that could be the game. But it feels it's, weird to just be like, you're my mine, boy. I know I'm continuously in and out of the most extreme battles in war, but I feel like I need you have a son, which you know makes sense. You want to carry on your lineage, but it's just it's funny to me. You should, Don, Don, you should find the fucking like screenshot of uh, of her hand in his because it's so comical. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, is it just like yeah, so no, tiny? It's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. We've got it tomorrow, you. Marcus. Yeah, I guess you're kind of plain, but whatever, fine. <laughs> <laughs> guess beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> choosers. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's like a it's like a baby hand. <laughs> so sick, dude. G Gears of War one boss. I forgot he has like a giant. You mean black General trench Ram, coat. right? Yeah, General Ram. He has like a giant black trench coat. <laughs> yeah, for real. Follow me. Yeah, I know. That's got you kind of sick though. You should respect a man who's got that that kind of fashion sense, <laughs> that kind of swagger. <laughs> 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 Poggers, he is ripped out. <laughs> He's ripped out. I will say that I still think the coolest thing to ever come from the Gears of War game is the chain grenade. Oh, yeah. It's original. It's fucking fun. About? It's fun watching it spin. Oh, the way, the way it, they you swing do. all the grenades on chains. Yeah. And then you throw yeah. it. I, and so I, always, I always, always thought that was just fucking sweet. That, I mean, a lot of this stuff in, well, you know, it's all sweet. Gears of War game, mm -hmm. instead, of, instead of the Locust having armor, well, I guess if you said they're just supposed to be humanoids, I always like the idea that, like, they make it so visible that their skin is, like, it almost looks like scales. So you'd almost just expect yeah. that, you that they could just fucking take bullets. Like, you'd have to, like, you know, fucking I shoot like, the scales uh, off or some shit. In 5, there's the Swarm Imago guy. 
That's who I like to play as. He just looks like a naked guy. Yeah, there's a. Is he legit? Is this? Is that his dick? <laughs> no. Nah, well, no. Nah, they just have like lumps. <laughs> Do you uh, like it? Whatever. Do you like my pee pee? It's just so funny seeing a creature like this with a gun, like like he's not already threatening <laughs> enough. I'm gonna stand over here and kill you instead of coming up to you and ripping your fucking heart out of your chest. <laughs> I respect the Geneva Convention and the rules of war and engagement. Do any of the locusts have swords? Yes, because uh, I always thought that a little knife. I always right? thought that that'd be kind of no, sweet, got, right? Got, in one of them, they've got a giant sword you can drag behind you as you roadie run. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. It like doesn't it smash? I don't like the hammer. Get the swords online! <laughs> <laughs> we have to get the swords online! The, uh, because I always thought if they come from the earth and they come from and they literally live in like fucking rocks and tunnels, would it not be cool if they just carried around some like Urukai swords or some shit? And it's like, you well, they, they charge it over before it started because we have guns and they have swords. Yeah, but that's the whole thing is that they are persistent and they're like able to destroy shit even with just swords. And it, it begs the question. It's like, thank God we have we're more te technologi technologically advanced than they are. You know yeah, I mean? I mean, if you yeah, sure. If you like upped their numbers and shit and they were just coming out of the ground like cockroaches, that'd be kind of sweet. Yeah. Or even like, I mean, they're so fucking big and menacing. Like if I saw one of these guys, I'd be like, there is no human bullet that would put this fucking creature down well that's why you would have been a casualty and i would have been a fucking american sniper i would have been a marine i would have been sick and fucking twisted i would have been so sick and twisted probably why my humor is so on on point for this podcast yep i don't know what to tell you it's just funny to to think that it's like this that they're they literally went through the design phase right and they said please god please Put a gun in this creature's hand. Would you just, <laughs> can, we, can we give him a gun? <laughs> <laughs> he looks so naked without a gun. He's, yeah, he, you know, it's, it's, it's weird that he doesn't have clothes on, but when we give him the gun, that's probably going to be enough to feel like the look is complete. <laughs> <coughs> it's pretty good design, Bothered though, like, so. otherwise. Oh, it's fun. Yeah, I, I like him. They're, they're all... They're all meant to be like human. They were humans, right? So does that mean oh, the giant I don't like, I don't like that. I wish I, and the yeah, and the like, like bad either. things I, I, and stuff were all humans too. I mean, probably. You'd have to assume it's some kind of species, yeah. right? I almost wish that they were like weird bugs or something like some kind of like uh, insect or species that lived under the earth, and because of like they're the they're the tampons that women flush down toilets and pollute our sewers with. Yeah, they're that's why they're so big that's and crusty and inflatable. Yeah, and that's how they—that's how they, grew, that's they, how they generated monsters, blood, and organisms. That would have and stuff. been that would have been nice and neatly within the uh, the, the overarching themes of Gears of War too. I like Especially that. then, all the yeah. men. Oh, you, you got to stop that! You keep making more enemies for us. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it's a biological. Yeah, you keep. Where am I you, supposed to put it? Get off my it. case, Marcus. You don't understand. You have to eat it. You don't eat it. <laughs> then eat it like a man. Because only through your gutty works will it be processed where you can poop it out. <laughs> I don't you know, know the science behind really. I feel like I'd be a bit more attracted to you well, if you could it. rock a buzz cut. That's how they create the lambent. <laughs> <It's a bit laughs> the flushed, flush tampon poop. That's how you get the other variant of locusts. They explode. But they tried. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I I enjoyed talking about our boomer video game for forty minutes. <laughs> this is definitely going to be the premium episode, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why not? I, this I is know, because this is episode. so cozy and for the boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Not even nary a mention of big pop culture icons like Taylor Swift and her handsome boyfriend. Exactly. How can we how can we get this podcast up into the echelons of that alike of Tom Segura's podcast if we don't talk about that? That's true. She uh do you think do you think this is the one? Do you think she's settling down with this one? No. Nope. I give it uh no? I, I give so? I give it a I give it six more months, is what I think. 
Because now, especially, like, they've been dating ever since his football season was started. So he's been busy, and she's been touring. I think once that's, the football season's over right now, so he's chilling. <laughs> once I think they she, have to share a fucking space together. Yeah, yep, exactly. And then also, I think once her tour's over, she's going to be like, okay, I'm bored. I'm done. Okay, I'm, done. I'm bored. Yeah, but you're also 34 years old, Taylor. <laughs> that would be my Taylor, plan. If, gas, you have gas if you have kids now, they're going to be retarded. Do you, it's called a geriatric pregnancy. If you look don't it up, say it that. actually starts at 34, Taylor. Travis, don't say that. That's disgusting. You'd say that. Better now than later. Commit. Not like you're anemic. Commit. Body has much chance of supporting life in the first place, Taylor. My balls age a lot, a lot slower than that pussy of yours. So either pop them out or get out of my way. <laughs> I'm trying to head to the end zone, baby, and you're standing in my way. You don't want to see what happens to people who stand in my way, to you. <laughs> you sound like it. It's, it's... Yeah, Pennywise. <laughs> yeah. You better get out of my way, Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> I see a drain pipe, and I'm going to go down it. <laughs> Don't you want you yeah, did like a what the, instead of a fucking paper boat, it's just like yeah, it's her fucking like uh, birth control. What's this, Taylor? <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't you want it? She's like he's like in the Travis Kelsey is in the sewer looking at her. She's like I just want my my birth control back. He's like, yeah, come grab it. Come get it for me, Taylor. Come on, come get your birth control. Down here, we win football games, and we. <laughs> so stupid. Yep. yep. <laughs> so stupid. Now that's time left on the clock, Taylor. Better make your play. It's fourth down and twelve, Taylor. Yep. Are you gonna punt or are you gonna go for it? <laughs> She's like, okay, thanks. I, I get the football references. Tick, talk. Tick, talk. <laughs> Yeah, for real. My homes can't help you now, Taylor. That's all I've got to say about that. Who? Patrick okay, Mahomes, well, dude. Head like me. God. I'm a casual. I'm a casual He's only the biggest Taylor fucking Swift. quarterback on earth right now, dude. Uh, I'm a and he's and, and he's uh on Kansas City's team, so that's why I love him. He's like a 24 year old, 400 billionaire, three time Super Bowl winner. And he's only been playing since 2018. God, I wish that was me. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> God, I wish I could see my 37-year-old best friend fucking run down the pitch and throw him the pigskin to win the championship ring. Okay. The, the, the field. <laughs> not, the, not the pitch, sweetie. Oh, is it not a pitch? No. That's soccer okay. talk. <laughs> right. That's, well, that's, 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 that's the foosball. Or, or is it cleats? Yeah, cleats. Okay, not boots. No. What I wouldn't give to see my cleated best friend run down the pitch and score a touchdown. Okay. Well, I feel, you feel like you're, you're hurting me. You're doing this how, to hurt just me. Just how ecstatic, how many secretions did you secrete when they won in overtime? Oh, I giggled and I jumped like a little girl. I literally was yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> it was a tense game. And when we're back, win back, back to back Super Bowl champs right now. And I'm and I'm gonna I'm hoping right now, I'm not gonna say I would predict because I don't want people coming back and shitting on me later, but I want them I want them to be the first team ever to win three in a row. And I love it when people complain. What, yeah, but what what happens when Taylor leaves Travis because uh, you know she needs new material and he's a that bitch was at some of these games. Anymore. This bitch was at some of the games that we fucking that we lost. All right. So I don't think not she's really. I don't think she's a because. fucking lucky I don't think she's a lucky charm or anything, all right? I think people, you know what's funny too? And here's the thing. I don't give a fuck if they show Taylor Swift or not. I mean, who gives a shit? It's when people are like, God, get her off the screen. And then people calculate it. And she was on screen for four seconds in a three hour long game. <laughs> God, get her off. Holy shit. And it's like, she's only the biggest <laughs> pop star on planet earth or whatever. We're trying to win a war against the goddamn locust, and they're just showing the skinny bitch on the screen. I guess they're just gonna show the skinny little c the whole time. Okay, whatever. She doesn't have even muscle mass. 
<laughs> she's not even big. So I guess we're just going to keep showing her all day then. <laughs> Yeah, man, he's just fucking. He's he's got her pregnancy test, parading it around in the sewer. <laughs> what you do? You do? do you think it says positive or negative? Why don't you look, get down here and see? I can't really see it. Reach your hand in here and see. Did I switch your birth control with placebo? <laughs> Are this is is this real? Is this real medication or is it just sugar pills? <laughs> Travis, stop, you're scaring me Have I been giving you actual medication? Or has it just been Smarties? Which one is it? It's just that big fucking meathead in the sewer with his His eyes his, his, his eyes that are looking different directions And he's like drooling out of his mouth <laughs> He has the same haircut as Pennywise, too. Get in between the hell dog and it's prey, there, Terrell. You don't want to break up the traditional American family, do you? Sure, That's you right. They're setting a fine example for young girls everywhere. Oh, absolutely. And and young men. Yeah. You, too, can... Here's the thing about Taylor, dude. Is she can't... I don't know. She's kind of scary looking. You think so? Yeah, like, just... I, you know, I admired her um, ironing board physique, but her scary eyes that point like directly vertical, like uh, diagonally downward, like she's always mad with her eyes and not her eyebrows. You know what I'm saying? It's just very odd looking. No, I don't because she's fucking beautiful, dude. Hey, look, I'm no, you know, I'm no prize, but Taylor Swift is certainly less of one. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Uh, the the some the the, the, the the somewhat in shape British man living in America is more desirable than literal billionaire and pop idol <laughs> Taylor Swift. Do you know? Do you know what? I'm so starved for compliments that the fact you called me somewhat in shape really actually meant a lot to me. You know what? I think that, yeah, that I, sounded, I think that you're doing it sounded nice. It was. I I would I say he, I think he looks. I think he looks great. Do I think that he's mm -hmm. more of a catch than literally Taylor Swift? All right, well, you know, in my okay. world, in my world, Tom, yes, but I think the vast majority of people ah, would say okay. no. Okay, I was gonna say, like, remember, we're bros, and you have to validate me. That's okay, well, listen, listen really to this headline, okay? And this is her sacrifices. Taylor Swift gave up alcohol <sighs> and practiced singing while running on a treadmill to prepare for her heiress tour. So, if that's not dedication, I don't know what is. I I just remember the era when she, when she was country. I think everybody forgot that she like had like a deep southern accent, and then one day she's just like, "Oh, I don't need that," and then she stopped doing it, and then she did. Just she really have like a country? Was she Hello, I'm Taylor. Yeah, she'd be like, she had like a southern draw like this, and she would sing, and Hi, all of her songs are country. And then one day this her songs called "Shake It Off." This song, <laughs> this song's called. There's someone going to. Kill me coming through the back door. Here we go. That'd be fucking awesome, wouldn't it? <laughs> hey, Taylor. This song's what called a particularly my interesting song. boyfriend <laughs> won't wear a condom. What a very interesting <laughs> song. Is it inspired by anyone in particular? <laughs> this song's called Big Red Man. Oh, my favorite. Yeah, giant clown scares me. You better watch your mouth, Taylor. <laughs> this song's called My Birth Control. Floated down a river. <laughs> rawhide. <laughs> Giddy up, put it on rawhide. <laughs> 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 I'm surprised I've heard you guys talk about I figured you guys would be people playing Helldivers 2. Well, we not PlayStation guys, bro, so fucking think again. Is it only on PlayStation? Yeah, I keep hearing about that. Uh, yeah. You're, yes, you're PlayStation, are. PlayStation boy. Yeah. I remember playing the uh, the first one in college in like 2014 or some shit. And it was it, like the first game is all like it's like a dungeon diver. But this one I thought looked pretty interesting. I like it's like a weird switch up. 
But I think people are complaining because it's like impossible to get into games. Like the servers are too shitty or something. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, it's um, it's just Looks overwhelmed. Cool, I'm sure it'll be a fucking like no one's gonna be playing yeah, it'll, in three it'll weeks. Be, yeah, it'll be a ghost town in a month. <laughs> Give it a month. I'd like to play it in a month though. Just try it out. Looks cool. They're kind of doing like a yeah, Starship Trooper thing, and like no one understands. It like caused this big debate if like Starship Troopers was a good movie or not, and it just shows like the how no one understands the uh, like the. Oh, is that where the world edge shit came from? Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Every, yeah, everyone was like, some people like it's fascist satire, and other people like kill the bugs, kill the bugs. <laughs> Which is funny because it's like that's exactly what the movie <laughs> like is saying too. Kill the fucking bugs. I always like people too getting in weird debates. Yeah, like they say the most obvious shit. The humans <clears throat> waged war on the bugs, and the bugs were just defending what they had. And it's like, yeah, we get it. But the yeah, well, humans fucking, keep sorry, fighting. GG easy, maybe you shouldn't be a bug. There you go. Uh, don't throw asteroids at Buenos Aires much. Yeah, they that happens after they kill the Mormons too, right? Yeah, or did the uh, Mormons don't kill slaughter the Mormons. Yeah, well, no, no, no. So they established that they have this, like, brain-eating thing where they can tell, like, what's up with humans, you know? Oh, yeah, the tube thing. So I the think whole, like, oh, they just they just think we're an ant colony and it's not that big of a deal morally. It's like, no, they, they know that we're all individually sentient because they probably got that information from the Mormons. So it's like, yeah, people just try to, like, I, I don't know. Like, as, as a movie, it's not, um... I can't understand empathy for the bugs. People are retarded. It's it sets them up as like kind of literally dangerous monsters that need to be eradicated. And that's that's how I feel about it. Premium episode for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, we and I just want to say thank you to all the premium listeners here and I hope you enjoyed this riveting unbelievable an hour and 45 minutes it's felt like of gears of war conversation so hope you all have enjoyed that and we will see you in the next one <laughs>